wait for it wait for it <laughs> there it is monday march 15th 2021 in berlin okay this is california time in berlin right now it's eight o'clock in the morning which means exactly 100 years ago right now, Sogomon Tellurian was asleep, having a nightmare. In the memoir, he doesn't talk about it in quite as much detail as he does in his prison diary. Page one of his prison diary, he says he woke up from a nightmare, tormented. And uh, the prison diary, it, the page one of the prison diary is gripping because he starts with the last thing he did before he became famous. He woke up from a nightmare and he contemplates. He said, my ancestors say that dark dreams are a good omen, a good portent. I just thought that's so incredible that he said that, that something good was about to happen. He just had a nightmare. He had lots of nightmares. He was tormented. Call it post-traumatic stress disorder. But he was traumatized from what he had experienced and losing everyone. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Sovereign Art Sock. I know I said I wouldn't do any more of these as uh, video diaries, but I've got a special treat for you. I can't tell you where I am right now. Um, it's obviously just past midnight. Um, it is March 15th. This is the day, the 100 year anniversary of Sogomon Tellurian becoming famous, super famous 100 years ago today. Um, let me show you, let me talk you through what happened in Sogomon's day. What I have here, this is a map of Berlin. This is Hardenbergstrasse. This is a street in Berlin, Germany. And this is the Google map. This is today. Let me switch to 100 years ago. Same corner. See that corner right there? Same corner. 100 years ago. Here's a number. Four, five. You'll notice in Berlin, in Germany, I don't know if this is all over Germany, the street numbers go, they count up as, as on this street as you're going southeast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the other side of the street, they count up as you go northwest. 34, 35, 36. Can you see 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. All right. For Hardenbergstrasse, 100 years ago, this was an a, um, an apartment building, and Talat Pasha had a whole floor, like nine rooms on one floor of this apartment building. Maybe it was two story, and five was the top, and four was the bottom. I don't know, but directly across the street, a couple weeks prior, or no, it was about a week prior to March fifteenth. Sogomon Talerian rented a room. 36. He had a pair of binoculars and he would look out his window across the street every day, all day. They had already established that Talat had a routine. And on that morning around 11 o'clock, 10.30, 10.45, and 11 o'clock, around that time, Talat came out of his apartment and walked this way. On this wide street, it's a wide street, there's a divider down the middle. So one rushed out and followed him on the other side of the street. So Talat went southeast on his side of the street. Sogomon pursued him on the other side of the street. Let's go back to the... Oops. So this is no longer an apartment building. It's an office building. Let me show it to you. 
this is the office building that is now there. This is modern day Berlin it used to be an apartment building, but there's a big office building. And across the street, now there's a church. There used to be apartments. Sogomon's apartment was right across the street, right here. Um, a lot of these buildings were bombed in World War One. This neighborhood, a lot of this was bombed during, and not World War One, World War Two. So a lot of this has just been reconstructed since World War Two. But this is where the apartment that Sogomon Tellerian was in. And this is, if you go there now, there is no four Hardenburg Strasse. There's three and there's five, but there's no four anywhere along here. I walked it when I visited. And over here, the uh, 36, there is no 36 either. In fact, this is, this is like in the 40s, 30, further down the street. Let me just turn this around. Down this street. See this green building? This is like 37, 38, 39. I went there. I looked, found the addresses. There's no 36 anymore. It was right here. But there's no 36 and there's no 4. Furthermore, go back to this map. Going down this way, let me switch to another map from that time period. All right, so here, here's 4 and here's 36. So Talat walked this way. These maps are courtesy of my historian, Armin. And Sogman walked this way across on the other side of the street. They walked all the way down here, crossed Fasanum. Sogman scurried to get past as Talat was just on a stroll, and Sogman scurried to get past him. And then down, just past this, he crossed the street and he turned around and he walked toward Talat. And so let me show you that what it looks like today. All right, uh, so on that side of the street coming toward us, Talat was walking toward us on that side of the street. Sogomon was walking toward us on this side of the street, keeping an eye across. And he was passing up. He passed him up. And then he, he scurried past and right about... He scurried past on this side of the street, and down here, he crossed over. He crossed over and started walking this way toward Talat. And it's right here. Interestingly, somewhere right along this sidewalk, let me zoom in right here. This is, you'll see it on the building. Oops. There it is, 18, 18 Hardenburg Strasse. And then right next to it, it's not in focus, but that says 16 Hardenburg Strasse. So ne neither four Hardenburg Strasse, 36 Hardenburg Strasse, or 17 Hardenburg Strasse are, are on the map anymore in current day Berlin on Hardenburg Strasse. Those three important places where Talat Pasha lived, where Sogomon Talirian's apartment was, and the spot where, where Talat Pasha, Pasha dropped face down in, and cracked his skull as a bullet terminated his life. The bullet from the gun of Sogomon Talirian, right here on this sidewalk at 17 Hardenberg Strasse. That's 18, that's 16. This building, the, there was a house here. There's a picture of it in the memoir and an X that marks the spot. So that house is not here anymore. I think it must have been bombed out in World War II, and they put up this, this is like a university or a school. So right here on the sidewalk, right in front of this building, 17 Hardenberg Strasse is exactly where Talat Pasha dropped face down. Here's the um, here's the map. That that dot right there is, see that's 19 and 18, 17 Hardenberg Strasse. It's covered by that red dot. And Sogelman, Dropped his gun, scraped his foot across the blood, and then people started shouting at him and pursuing him. And this is Fasanem. He started running. He ran around this corner um, down Fasanem Street, and the crowd caught up with him and started pummeling him right down here on Fasanem. And I've been there in Germany. Um, let me just show you. Uh, oh. So this... He ran 
he ran this way around this corner. Now somebody, Vartan, sent me this video. So this is, he went to Berlin, and this is basically Talat's path. Um, he's come out as, this is the direction Talat was walking. And he came out of his apartment, walked this way. He turns the camera just to look his past. And I'll fast forward it. This is on Hardenbergstrasse. He was walking this way on Hardenbergstrasse while Sogon was on the other side, other side of the street getting past him. Sorry it's so shaky, but they sent me this video, and I'm going to get closer. He was trying to track down exactly where it was, but this is it. He gets real close. He didn't quite see. There's this, this is that school building, and this is... This is Fossenham, this street right here. If I pause it, you can read the this, this street sign up here. But it's right in front of us across this street. He stops right here. He didn't cross the street. But this is where they pursued him around this corner. They caught up with him and was beating him down on the street on this side somewhere. But right in front here. Oop. See, the video starts over right there. Let me pause it. Ah. Right there, right in front of this building right here is where, where Talat Pasha finally received the justice he was due. All right. Um, I'm going to post this. You'll hopefully be able to watch it today. This is a, a very special occasion. Um, I am going to be going to Sogomun's grave site today. I'll post that video tomorrow. All right. So I just wanted to record this. Uh, here we are, March 15th. 12 11 a.m which is 8 11 a.m in berlin so sogam was still asleep in the prison diary he talks about waking up and looking at the clock and i, th I think the clock was like 8 30 or or 9 or 9 30 somewhere around then he woke up he, he talks about he says what time it was so in the prison diary not in the memoir but in the prison diary he says what time it was and then he describes just not having an appetite and his landlady bringing him some food and him looking out, just looking out the window. And finally he sees Talat leave the apartment and go. And that's the moment. That's the moment his life changed forever. He was there for that reason. He pulled it off successfully, <laughs> but I mean, he, he was just being obedient to his orders, orders from his mother and orders from operation nemesis. All right. Share this video, subscribe. It's a very exciting day. Very exciting day. Um, and I'm I can't tell you where I am. I just I can't, but let me just say if Sogamon Talerian were alive today, he'd be like 124 years old. He'd probably have been in this room if he were alive today. All right. That's I can't I can't elaborate any more than that. All right. Subscribe and share and all that stuff. I'll, I'll post video from the from the uh, cemetery tomorrow.